Hey everybody, I'm Mike Levy. We're up here at the top of Cypress Mountain, high above Vancouver, and this is Salsa's all new Blackthorn. It's a 140 millimeter travel 29er with a 160 millimeter fork that they say is built to ride any trail anywhere with confidence. Now we're gonna put that to the test real soon in an upcoming field test video review. But for now, let's take a closer look at this new Purple People Eater. As usual, this one here is the top tier model. It's the Carbon X01 Eagle version. It goes for $7,500. But if you don't wanna spend that much, the Carbon bikes actually start at $4,900 and that gets you SLX components. If you're not into the Carbon, either because you can't afford it or because it's not what you want, Aluminum Complete Bikes, well, they start off at $3,200 American. Interestingly, Salsa also offers an aluminum frame-only option, and it costs $2,100 with a RockShox rear shock. Of course, you could also get a carbon frame-only, and that one goes for $3,200. The front and rear triangles are all new, and Salsa actually creates two different bikes out of them. On the Blackthorn, it's 140 millimeters of rear wheel travel. On the Cassidy, it's 165 millimeters with the same front triangle and the same rear triangle, but a different shock, clevis, and link. And we're gonna talk more about that in a minute, but let's zoom in on some other frame details before we get there. At the forward shock mount, you'll find a slot molded into the carbon, and you could actually fit a frame strap through there to hold a tube and some tools. And they've also incorporated a rubber scuff guard, so anything that's trapped up against your frame won't be rubbing and leaving marks. There's also a ton of places to bolt other things. You'll find threaded holes on the top of the top tube. You can either put a frame bag there or a computer mount, and there's a three-pack bottle mount on the top of the down tube. All right, people, there's one more threaded hole that I know you're gonna be excited about. It's the bottom bracket. There's a normal threaded bottom bracket down there, and you'll find a set of ISCG05 tabs around it. Let's talk about one more hole, and this one is just below the shock on the forward mount, and that's where you could route a remote lockout for your shock if you wanted to do something like that. I have another thing to mention before we talk about suspension. It's hub spacing and it's super boost. I know, I know, but Salsa says the 12 by 157 mil spacing lets them get super short chain stays. These are 432 millimeters, but you could still fit a 29 by 2.6 inch rear tire, or even a 27.5 by 3.0 rear tire on the back of this bike if you wanted to. So there you go, super boost spacing, a ton of tire clearance. And speaking of those chain stays, I'm just gonna point it out again, they're aluminum. So that's a spot that sees a ton of abuse from the chain and from rocks and stuff flying up. So Salsa's gone with aluminum chain stays down there for a little bit of added reliability. Reliability, reliability. On to suspension and Salsa has been using Dave Weagle's split pivot system for many, many years now. It's exactly like what it sounds. The rear pivot actually rotates concentrically around the axle. There are all sorts of claims that go along with it as with any suspension design, but the gist is it's independent of braking, pedaling, all those things. Uh, I've spent a ton of time on different split pivot bikes. And one thing I will say is that they've always felt efficient and full of energy. So. I'm hoping that it's no different with the Blackthorn. The Fox Float DPX2 is driven by a clevis that wraps around the seat tube, and that's driven in turn by a rocker link. Now, there's actually some geometry adjustment in there as well. You can adjust the head angle by 0.3 of the degree and the bottom bracket height by four millimeters. All right, you know we're talking geometry next. Let's start with the head angle. In the slack position up front, 64.6 degrees, for a 140 millimeter travel bike. So it's a fairly relaxed head angle. Now remember, you could also steepen that by a third of a degree if you like to tinker. Seat angle is 76.5 degrees. And this is a large size frame and I'm five foot 10 on a good day. This bike, 490 millimeter reach, so it's pretty roomy. Seat tube is nice and short at 455 millimeters. So that gives you room for a long travel dropper post. And I already mentioned those short chain stays, 432 millimeters. All right, that's it for Salsa's all new and very purple Blackthorn trail bike. 
Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's where you're gonna find all of our upcoming field test reviews, including the one on this purple people eater. I think I'm gonna put some pedals on this thing and maybe do a trail bike ride. Let's hit it.